sun is rising, it won't be long before the ducks start flying in. I can smell the shotgun shell I can hear the mallards yell Wag them and stack them Cause we're just some good old boys Trying to get by with our rivals Bows and shotguns and four-wheel drives On the ground, blind and tree stand Is where we stay God-fearing and lovers of the NR Uh, this is Brett Hall, founder of Bible Belt Outdoors and co-chairman of Christian Waterfowl Association, the uh, show's chapter in Northwest Alabama. Uh, we're headed over today to help our brothers and sisters on the Northeast chapter. Uh, we're going to be carrying a, uh, several vets on a duck hunt. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We got the GPS on lockdown. The yo-yo wound tight. It's about to get real up in here. The Whitetail Institute doesn't have to pay celebrity hunters to endorse our products. We let our customers do the talking because we feel what real hunters put in the bed of their pickup is much more impressive. In fact, some of our customers have broken state records and even a world record using our food plot products. Now, not all our customers are breaking records, but they are consistently harvesting the best deer in their area. So join the tens of thousands of real hunters that are experiencing their best hunting ever with products from the Whitetail Institute. This is your home. Out here, comfort is a luxury. Patience isn't a virtue, it's a necessity. Out here, the little things are the only things that matter. Some call hunting a hobby, but you know better than that. To hunt is to live, to live is to hunt. That's why we pour everything we have into the details of our patterns. Patterns true to life, true to your life. We don't source from the mind, we source from the land, from the grass, from the trees, from the hunt. We use the highest quality digital imaging to create three-dimensional layers that break up your silhouette and allow you to blend in like never before. Because there's a difference between looking real and being real. It's about time the next innovation in camo is not just a new painting. True timber for true hunters. At Moxie Archery, accuracy begins with craftsmanship. To have Moxie is to have backbone, power, precision, to be bold and fearless, face difficulty with courage. You wait so long just to have that feeling, but it happened so fast. Moxie Archery, where accuracy begins with craftsmanship. Well, welcome back to Bob Belt Outdoors. I'm Brett Hall, and I'll be your host this episode. We've made it into town. We've met up with the group, and we've been welcomed by the local Fort Payne High School Junior ROTC program. They're going to put on a demonstration for us and the vets, so we're looking forward to that. Stay tuned. Good evening. I know you all have been welcomed to Fort Payne many, many times, but on behalf of the Fort Payne High School Junior ROTC program, we would like to welcome you again and say thank you for your services. Uh, I've got some of my cadet officers and uh, enlisted here. And one unique thing about our program, we, we teach a lot of the life skills, uh, a lot of the subjects that your core teachers don't have an opportunity to teach. Uh, we teach things like public speaking, check writing, uh, communication discipline. Now, we don't teach the type of discipline where we take students out behind the building and <laughs> beat that word out of them. That's not the type of discipline that we teach. We teach the type of discipline where they do those things that has to be done without being told. That's what we're all about. So uh, it's a great program. And the unique thing about our program in high school, they have no military commitment whatsoever. Uh, you know, we're not recruiters. We couldn't put them in the military if they wanted to go. 
uh, we'll have to send them to the recruiters. So a lot of our, we, ha we have a few, we have about two per year uh, that join the armed forces. Most of them either go to college or they join the workforce. So it's an excellent program. And we thank you all for the opportunity. Hey! Hey! Move! Move! Well, what an awesome demonstration that the local Fort Payne Junior ROTC program put on for us and honoring the vets that came out. Uh, we'd just really like to thank them and for um, their dedication and, and support. Next up, after we grab a bite to eat, we're going to head out for our first afternoon hunt. We'll be hunting some public access area on the uh, northwest corner of Alabama on Lake Guntersville. We're going to start out on a, uh, a marsh flat island. See if we can make something happen there. And you know, it's it's difficult right now in the state of Alabama. We've seen unseasonably warm weather. Uh, the, the birds are just now starting to, to move into the area. So we're hoping we can get some action uh, during shooting hours. So just hang in there and let's see what we can make happen. Is it your desire to have an obedient companion, a gentleman's gun dog, or even a championship level hunt test title? Well, at Limestone Retrievers, we can offer you all this for your large breed dog. We use proven training techniques and handling techniques through our puppy obedience and gun dog retriever programs, as well as hunt test prep and handling. We can also handle all your boarding needs. I'm Hunter Shell, and this is my dog Ruben, and your most enjoyable day hunting starts at Limestone Retrievers. Call us today for your no risk consultation. The Broadhead Revolution is here. Introducing the revolutionary broadheads from Flying Arrow Archery. The Toxic Cyclone, the Tom Bomb, the Toxic and the Cyclone 100 grain have universal blades. This is a perfect combination between the revolutionary design of the Toxic and a traditional three blade broadhead. See them online at flyingarrowarcheryusa.com. Trinity Archery was born from a desire to bring stability. Whether it's the show your face silencing kit, or the new T3, the most versatile stabilizer on the market. 
Our greater hope at Trinity Archery is that you would find stability in Jesus Christ. If you would like a free pack-sized copy of the Word, go to trinityarchery.com. There's nothing more stable than the Trinity. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world in state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. Welcome back to Bob Bud Outdoors. That afternoon hunt was, it was a tough one. I tell you, it was uh, just unseasonably warm. Uh, the sun was just bearing down on us and the birds just haven't really started moving in yet. So the ones that did uh, commit and start coming in, you know, it was just way after shooting light. So we had to uh, move out, head back to the lodge and just regroup. So we reached out to a local call maker, Brent Davis of Mayday Game Calls uh, that we all know. And, and he offered up his personal uh, lease that they, they got this year. And it's got some excellent property with some flooded timber, flooded fields. So we decided that's where we would try it next. He's circling. See it? Yeah, it's over there. To your right. Well, folks, uh, we just couldn't make anything happen on this trip. Uh, the first afternoon, hunting the marsh flat. Uh, we had a few birds come in, but it was just way late after shooting light. Uh, it was on some, some public access area. So the next morning we decided, hey, we're gonna hit a, uh, some private lease. And the conditions were a lot better. We had some scattered showers come in and birds seemed to wanna move a little more, come in and commit. But we, it was all about the setup. We had set up a little too far down where, where the hole in the timber was, where they wanted to drop in. And when we regrouped, moved down, it just uh, it seemed to change. They just uh, weren't coming in any longer, so we just didn't get that opportunity we needed. But let me tell you, we enjoyed our time out with these vets, getting to know them and their service, uh, about their family. 
and just fellowshipping and that's really what it was you know all about is is just honoring them and giving them an opportunity to escape in the outdoors and that was a success we'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize one of our pro staff members kenneth wells active military in the army currently deployed we just want to thank you for your service and sacrifice a little bit about him he's from sanford north carolina a native of vermont he still hunts both of those areas and his goal is to retire this year when he gets back he plans to start sharing his outdoor experiences with us he wanted to get plugged in with an outdoor tv show reached out to us and you know we're just really grateful he did and honored to be able to provide him that opportunity and you as the viewers be able to follow him he's married with uh, three kids so we just uh, thank them for their sacrifice and letting him serve at our country and for our freedom so be sure to follow him support him well folks now we're going to head out to a ceremony to honor the veterans that came out to hunt we've also invited a few local veterans to come out and just fellowship share their story with one another uh, cwa is going to present a few gifts to the veterans that we're hunting this weekend the bible belt outdoors has some custom made duck calls we'd like to present to them and then also brad vines has some custom decoys that he donated that we'll also be presenting to them so they can just take these things back home with them remember this hunt uh, we really enjoyed them and uh, their story and what they did for our nation and our freedom it's so good to be here with you tonight and uh, be a representative of the state of alabama for christian waterfowlers association and to talk to you just a little bit about uh, the three men that you've already been introduced to by name um, and I've been worried about this all week, not really worried, but just trying to uh, seek everything I could from the Holy Spirit. Of how do I introduce these men that gives them honor that they deserve? Um, and I just thought about it. Uh, another thing is that we just sung that last song. Jesus Christ is the one who died to give us life. He's the one who died to give us freedom. These men represent the thousands of men and women who offer their life to keep us free here in our country. Amen. And to honor them tonight, I can talk about their combat deployments. I can talk about the fact that these are EOD specialists and all that comes with that job and all the stress that I'm sure is there. I can talk about their Purple Hearts. I can talk about their Bronze Stars. I can talk about all the things that the Army has done to recognize their service. But let me tell you who we have here with us tonight. Tonight we have sons, husbands, and fathers who answered a call to stand in the gap for you and I. And most importantly, tonight we have sons of the Most High God. Amen. And they represent millions who are actively serving, who have served in the past. And they didn't do what they do so that they could be brought up here to the stage and so that we could put our accolades on them. But they deserve everything that we can offer. Just like every other veteran and every other service person who has stood in the gap for us. This whole weekend has been for you guys. There's a lot of people that have made this happen. So I want to thank just a few people real quick. Jeff Ferguson with Northeast Alabama Game Preserve uh, put us up in a, a, a lodge uh, free of charge. And we're so thankful for that. Marsha Schrader uh, here from Wills Valley Community Church and the Essinger family uh, providing food and the things that we needed for a meal yesterday. Uh, Brett Hall and Braden Hall, also known as Precious. Braden. <laughs> when you see him, please call him Precious. Uh, they're with Gospel Game Calls, and uh, they've been a big part of what's going on this week as well. Uh, Mayday Calls with Brett Davis, Brent Davis and Jason Vanneville. Uh, they provided us a place to, to go hunting today. Um, we were kind of scraping, scraping the bottom of the barrel. They opened up a private place for us to go. Uh, Brad Vines uh, presented some amazing decoys uh, for us as well. I want to thank your church for, for opening up tonight and allowing us to come here and have this this time of celebration with Jesus Christ and His presence of the Holy Spirit here at this place. I want to thank you as well. Uh, so many people have made this happen. Uh, and it's been really neat because just a couple of years ago, we had this crazy idea uh, to use Christian Waterfowlers Association to begin to reach out uh, to veterans, especially those who have been wounded in battle. And uh, so we, we've been, for the last couple of years, bringing these guys in. This year was a special treat because being from Alabama myself, I decided, you know, the last couple of years we've taken veterans to Arkansas. And we've shown them what it's like to really hunt ducks. But this year, we wanted to give these veterans the Alabama duck hunting experience, right? We wanted it to be warm. 
We wanted there to be no ducks whatsoever, and we wanted the highlight of the day to be the biscuit they get at the end. And I think that is really what has happened. Um, the weather did not cooperate. Uh, we've had a great time with these guys, and I hope they've had a great time as well. But uh, I think we've uh, decided we're going to bring them back for a turkey hunt, because maybe turkey hunting is more what we need to do in Alabama. I don't know. Maybe then we'll get some good weather for that. But everything that God does begins with a vision, a plan, and then God chooses his messenger. And a few years ago, God chose Tim Salih to be the messenger for Christian Waterfowlers Association to preserve our Christian heritage and our hunting heritage and to use the great outdoors to reach men and women for Jesus Christ. And last year in February, he called Tim to leave his church and to go into this full time to, to accelerate the growth of this ministry. And what we're seeing and what the, the, the results of this weekend are just the tip of the iceberg of what God wants to do. And so tonight is my honor to introduce to you our speaker for the night, Tim Salee, the founder of Christian Waterfowlers Association. Awesome to be here tonight. Thank you, Pastor Betty, for opening up your church. And, uh, I want to thank uh, Scott. Scott uh, met him several years ago. Actually, he came up to our festival, one of our first ever national meetings from Alabama, and I met him. And he came up a couple of years in a row. And... Uh, and then moved from Tennessee to uh, Alabama. That's all different. He lived in Tennessee, he moved to Alabama, and he's a Kentucky fan. I hadn't figured that out yet, but, <laughs> uh, but he, we, he just uh, connected with us, and I asked him to represent us in this area, and maybe beyond the borders of uh, Alabama, maybe over Mississippi and Georgia. We'll talk a little bit about that in just a moment, but to Greg and Veda, where they go to, uh, back there, uh, where the sun, back there, Greg, uh, Bly, there you are. Uh, I, I didn't meet Greg until a couple of years ago. How many were here when I was here two years ago at the uh, Sporting Goods store? How many remember that, Greg? Uh, we met Greg some time ago, uh, and then right back before that, he, uh, he had, uh, contacted us about starting a chapter. Uh, maybe his friend, I think it was Greg, actually, uh, that uh, contacted us. And a little bit later on, he started the chapter, and we really appreciate Greg doing a magnificent job here. And then, as Scott said, we got the idea from Peterson Outdoor Ministries to, to use uh, waterfowling as a way to honor veterans. And so, this is a few pictures of the first ever hunt weekend we did, and uh, kind of learned from that a little bit. And we work with Hunters Helping Heroes. They help vet our veterans and get them here, and then we provide the hunt. And some good fellowship and some food and just a wonderful time. Hey neighbor, heard you took another big 10 point on your place. Yep, got him coming to Upper Food Plot. Dang, we both plant fields, but you've got the deer. What's your secret? I plant Whitetail Institute products. <laughs> Couldn't say. This is your home. Out here, comfort is a luxury. Patience isn't a virtue, it's a necessity. Out here, the little things are the only things that matter. Some call hunting a hobby, but you know better than that. To hunt is to live, to live is to hunt. That's why we pour everything we have into the details of our patterns. Patterns true to life, true to your life. We don't source from the mind, we source from the land, from the grass, from the trees, from the hunt. We use the highest quality digital imaging to create three-dimensional layers that break up your silhouette and allow you to blend in like never before. Because there's a difference between looking real and being real. It's about time the next innovation in camo is not just a new painting. True timber for true hunters. Is it your desire to have an obedient companion, a gentleman's gun dog, or even a championship level hunt test title? Well, at Limestone Retrievers, we can offer you all this for your large breed dog. We use proven training techniques and handling techniques through our puppy obedience and gun dog retriever programs, as well as hunt test prep and handling. We can also handle all your boarding needs. I'm Hunter Shell, and this is my dog Ruben, and your most enjoyable day hunting starts at Limestone Retrievers. Call us today for your no risk consultation. We've got just a few things we want to present. I'm going to ask you if uh, uh, Joshua, Dan, and James, if you guys would, y'all come up in front just for a second. 
We have a few things we want to present you with tonight, just as tokens of our appreciation uh, for all you've done from the uh, Christian Waterfront Association of North Alabama. I have a hat for you guys to wear. Kill ducks today or not? Fully flocked, custom painted. This is token of appreciation. Come on, ducks. Then one last thing, I'm just going to ask Pastor if you come up and um, Tim if you'll come up as well. We just want to offer a prayer for you guys as you. Uh, they'll be traveling back tonight, um, not to share a whole lot of business, but um, Joshua's wife is. Uh, banged up her toe, and is going to be having some surgery on that. There's some children at home, and so they're going to go ahead and, and drive back tonight. Father God, we thank you so much for our brothers, our friends, these men who have stood in the gap for us. God, we pray that you'll watch over their families. We pray that you will keep them safe as they travel back home tonight. And God, we just pray that your spirit will fall upon them, will find them, will heal them and make them whole in every way possible. God, they have stood in the gap for us. And for them and everyone like them who serve in that role, may we stand in the gap for them and lift them up, lift them up in prayer. God, thank you so much for this opportunity for these new friendships and to meet some fantastic men. We give you praise and honor for all things. And we thank you for each one of these men. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Well, folks, we just hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did participating. Uh, we just want to thank all of the organizations and sponsors that uh, help make it happen. Uh, we just encourage you to reach out and support uh, your military, your local veterans, you know, and just, just to invite them out to the outdoors hunting and fishing. You don't have to have, you know, an organization to do that. Uh, I'm sure there's ones in your area that would welcome the opportunity. If you would like to learn more how to uh, get plugged into our organization to support us or, or get involved in uh, volunteering or uh, just things of that nature, you can uh, go to our website at BibleBeltOutdoors.com or email us at info at BibleBeltOutdoors.com or uh, check us out on all our social media. You can also go to the Christian Waterfowl Association's website and get plugged in and contact them. So just uh, that's what we want to encourage you to do is just support them and offer as many opportunities as you can for them to get in the outdoors. Cause we're just some good old boys trying to get by with our rivals, bows and shotguns and four-wheel drives. On the ground, blinding trees, standing is where we stay. God-fearing 